Alright, hey guys, what's up? Stan for Pro here. And um, what I have here is a video for the game editor website. This is a little tile editor I've been making. Been working on it for weeks, and it has been a pain in the neck. But you know what? I finally got it to work. And, um, the Dropbox folder. I don't know what that was. But, um, anyway, if you heard that in the background. Anyways, here's uh, the map, and I'll show you a couple of examples. Here's map one. You got two layers, or you can show both of them. To uh, you know, it just looks a lot nicer. And um, yeah, you can you can also like load different maps over and over again, like uh, like graphics tests, for example. Let it load. And uh, the maps can be a total of 100 by 100 size, so that's pretty darn huge. All right, what I have um, ability-wise is over here you can scroll to select your tiles, or you can scroll a lot faster. And uh, it it automatically adjusts its size to however many tiles you have in your uh, in your tile file thing, <laughs> tile file. Um, right here I have a GIF version that I made of all the original game editor tiles well most of them not all of them but um as you can see it's pretty cool pretty cool and uh, again you can load and save like both of them um, however I do need to modify the uh, control S and control L thing cause... okay let's see map one dot map alright um there's the game editor website open here's the gimpy Load. Yep. All right. Um, as you can see, it automatically adjusts the map size. You can even have a one by one map if you wanted to. <laughs> one by two, three, four. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's because I have um. I'm gonna go to max two hundred real quick. It's because I have it down here. That's why you couldn't see it. It'd be at the top left if you wanted to have it like a one by one. You can right click to uh, automatically select whatever tile you're on. If there's transparency behind your tile, you are going to have to actually click one of the pixels. But um, I could change this, but it's just going to be a little more work. And But I will do it in the future, probably. You know, if it gets, like, enough requests. But uh, it's pretty cool. I'm working a lot on it. And you know what? It's it's paid off because it's really fun. It's also very, in like, it's also incredibly frustrating. I have never gotten more mad in my life over something. These right here are stuff that I added in that represents events. So, if you want to like have some events in the um, in the game, like you it, okay in the game, you would actually change this based on the animation position um, or the animation number. You know, like the frame. And all that. You would actually um, say you would do maybe a switch or something at the create actor uh, when you load the map file into your actual game. And it would change you know, to whatever you want. Like, for example, E1 would become a snake when you actually load the game. E2 would become whatever you need to win, and uh, S would actually become start. And again, like I really, really like this. Um, I really like doing this. I really like programming it, but it also makes me rage. It's just, but it's just a lot of fun. Yeah. And I hope um, eventually, you know, people can actually you know, use this and for their, uh, for their own games stuff like that the layers function was one of the most frustrating things that's all that really irritated me was the layers actually I'm just kind of like a little bush but yeah them layers man I'm telling you them layers they be going ham what the what oh that was interesting uh, anyways, there may or may not be like a few bugs still. I'm sorry about that. But if you, as you can see, it you can make some really nice looking maps. And yeah. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.